Yeah, well, what's this all about, boy? When I was 17, I remember, I believed in life. I trusted life. I believed there were answers to questions. I had, I remember how she used to touch me, you know, so gently on the cheek. And when she was dying, I remember how she touched me. She said, remember, how much I love you. I'll never forget that. I think this is what Crosetti found out, and I refused to recognize it in him because I wouldn't see it in myself. A short story. During the March on Washington, I stood there with, uh, at the steps watching Dr. King talk about his dream and wondered whether or not I would ever see that dream so far from my goal. And then about eight years ago, I had some time off from homicide. And I went to DC with my, my daughter, who had played on that, around that ship, my oldest daughter, who run around on that very ship. She's a lawyer today. <laughs> and, and we went to the spot where we were, I was standing, and I was telling her how Years before, I had stood there listening to Dr. King's speech, and, a, and a, um, a bus pulled up with uh, a bunch of children from Japan, and they ran out, got out of the bus and they ran towards me, and they were, I, I couldn't understand what they were speaking, I was speaking their language. But there was one thing I, that blew me away, was the fact that they all were saying one word, Alien. <laughs> and at that moment, it was so spooky because I'd realized that the dream had come true. I was now known all throughout the world. The movie opened the door up for women. Never before in the history of movies have we seen a heroic woman do what Sigourney did. <laughs> it was the first time an African American had been seen uh, in, in a role like that. Uh, and so today, we see, we see women and African Americans in those heroic roles because of this man right here. Thank you, Ridley. God bless you.